Okay, so let's say I want to approximate sine, cos and tan of 10 degrees. Now you've got to be careful here because you don't want to make the mistake of just thinking, well, sine of 10 degrees is approximately 10. All of these are in radians, okay? So you have your angle currently in degrees, so we're going to need to convert them. So 10 degrees is what radians, okay? Now what you've got to remember is that 180 degrees was pi radians. So 10 degrees is pi over 18 radians dividing both sides by 18. So that means that sine of 10 degrees is equal to sine of pi over 18, which we know then is approximately equal to pi over 18. So if we pop that into the calculator, pi over 18 is 0.175 to 3 sig fig. Okay, so if you check sine of pi over 18, we get 0.174, which is very close to the 0.175. If you change your calculator into degrees and then do sine of 10, you should also get 0.174 to 3 sig fig. Okay, so we can see that this method is working. So cos of 10 degrees is the same as cos of pi over 18 in radians, which is approximately 1 take away a half times pi over 18 squared. So 1 take away a half times pi over 18 squared, which is 0.985 to 3 sig fig. So if you try cos of pi over 18, you get 0.985 to 3 sig fig. And then finally, tan of 10 degrees will be tan of pi of 18 radians, which will just be the pi of 18 radians again, which was the 0.175 to 3 sig fig. Okay, and that's how we can work out an approximation for sine, cos and tan of 10 degrees.